Mike Tobin making his way to the ring. Bobby Rogers here joined by none other than 600 pound plus maximum capacity. How you doing, Bobby? Hello, D1 PW World. Jones being re-announced there a moment ago. Current D1 PW Cruiserweight Champion. Max, I know you've been around a while. As I said before, Bobby Rogers, myself, former White Heavyweight Champion. It was a different style back, back when I had it. I was, I was the Chris Jones here in Florida in 1990. Chris Jones definitely now the hottest White Heavyweight Athlete in the state of Florida on every show. For every promotion, holds a strap, changes it almost everywhere he works. Yeah, Chris Jones is the Midas of the uh, wrestling world right now. I'm going to tell you, it's overwhelming because I've been there before. Back in the early 90s when I first started, I had Fabulous Strike as a manager. I held the uh, Light Heavyweight title. In every independent promotion there was in the state, I wrestled for UWF. I would compare myself back then to Chris Jones. Now the style's a lot different. If I wrestled Chris Jones then, the way I was then, he destroyed me absolutely. The style's changed. Chris Jones is without question one of the finest light heavyweights I have seen in my near 20 years in this industry. Yeah, and the future is nothing but bright for Chris because he's so young. I mean, he's I think he's barely 19, 18 at the most. And uh, he's on top of his game right now. The Mike Tobin, champion is on the line. Russian wrestling, former independent wrestling in the Northeast, relocated down here to Florida. As we all know, Florida has been a hotbed for professional wrestling for many, many decades. The yeah, experience definitely goes with Mike Tobin. Chris is uh, still green. He's with. He's like in his second year of wrestling, but he's also young. So he's, uh, in, you know, very. I don't want to say immature in a bad way, but he's a kid. Oh, absolutely. We saw a farmer's carry start things off by Mike Tobin. Tobin backing away from Jones. Forcing the ref to back Chris Jones away. I think it's a match that if Chris just starts to get cocky like he usually is, Mike Tobin can use his veteran, you know, his French, just his veteran years in the business, and he can steal his win. Nice maneuvering by Chris Jones, able to get the advantage. Tobin, Tobin able to reverse that. And now he's got Chris Jones. A lot of fancy maneuvers there by Jones. And it, it's, like I said, I've been where Jones is. It's, it's overwhelming to be in that position. Here's a kid who was already a professional wrestler and champion while he was still in high school, undoubtedly. I believe he actually took the belt to show and tell. I don't know about that, but you know, what's funny, I didn't think about it. I have actually been in this industry longer this kid's been alive. Nice exchange of maneuvers there. Nice drop kick by Chris Jones. High drop kick right in the face, followed up by an arm drag. And Chris Jones, like he, he may be young, he may be cocky, but right now he's backing it up as a D1 PW Cruiserweight Champion. Boy, it's nice to have that youth behind you. All that energy you got, you can go, you know, full blown throughout the entire match. It's just, it's a gift. For sure, right now. Whoa, nice shot by Jones, who was able to escape. Nice uppercut. You can hear that echo in the building, Max. Wow, he is actually lighting up Mike Tobin's chest. Reversal, nice. Boot to the face, sends Tobin back days. Jones off the second row. Oh, he went for a clothesline, but Tobin able to grab a hold of that arm. Sort of a flapjack. Don't get excited, I'm not going to lie, Hop. I like the short stack, or you can eat. 
Tobin driving the knee. And now on the arm of Chris Jones. That is a veteran move. Chris Jones made a mistake and Mike Tobin pounced on it. And you see how, how Tobin he was holding the arm and then driving the knee into the face. Scoops Jones up and slamming him with an arm folded behind his back and going right back to the arm. This is a submission move by Tobin. Jones able to get a count out of that. Max, we could be in the beginning of seeing a Cruiserweight Championship title change here today on D1PW. I wouldn't call it an upset either. Even though Chris Jones is on top of his game, like I said, Mike Tobin's been been on top of his game in the Northeast for years. No, I would not call it an upset. Uh, Mike Tobin definitely worthy of being a contender here today against Chris Jones and absolutely would make a phenomenal uh, D1PW Cruiserweight champion. Yeah, the charisma on Chris Jones is just, it's just incredible. I just, boy, if I can go back 20 years to be his age, I'd be, wow. I'd still be heavy, but I'd be happy. The kid, like you said, the kid's got a lot of charisma. He's got a lot of fire behind him. As right now, it's been able to stop him. Temporarily extinguish that fire. Takes Jones down to the mat. He's doing a two count. He's just such high energy. You can feel the energy when Jones walks into a room. I like Chris Jones. I like him as a cruiserweight champion. Definitely someone that would have uh, definitely had a future back when I was running future wrestling had he been around then. I believe he might have been a fader of yours. Nice. Waist lock suplex. Jones suplex. We got a two count. He kind of reminds me of a young Johnny Vandal. I can see that. I think Jones, with the limited experience he has now, is definitely, is definitely ahead of his game as most, most others were. Tobin able to stop another another German suplex and able to take Jones. I wouldn't be surprised. I know Jones is, is young and, and probably too proud to, 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 to give it up. Whereas perhaps a more experienced wrestler might, you know, if the arm is injured, you call it quick to live the fight another day. Yeah, he won't. Uh, you want to call him dumb, but he uh, he may may not know well enough to tap out. Absolutely. Right now, both men struggling. The backslide. No, nope, Jones over. He was small package. He got him. He got him. Jones out of nowhere with a small package. Jones able to pull a win out of nowhere. I have to say, Max, that that might be an upset. Mike Tobin had him beat the whole way. That was actually impressive. That was a retro move to get the, get the victory. Chris Jones able to pull a victory out of nowhere and just proved to everyone why he is the D1PW Cruiser Weight Champion.